Good morning everybody, it's the 12th of January 2021 and welcome to Maths. Your place value activity today is to make the largest and smallest number that you can using the number cards below. You need to use three number cards each time and you can only use them once in each number. Good luck. And here is our geometry question for today. Can you make a list of as many 2D shapes as you can think of in two minutes? So for our place value activity this morning, the largest number you could have had was 964. And the smallest number you could have had was 24. But you would have had to have included the zero as the first digit in 24. And here are a few examples of some 3D shapes you may have named. Our learning objective today is to be able to use the column method to subtract two digit numbers whilst exchanging. And to be successful, we need to be able to set out the column method correctly and use our knowledge of place value to help us with exchanging. So yesterday we began using the column method for subtraction. Have a go at 38 take away 13 just to revisit what we learned yesterday. Today we are going to be exchanging when we are subtracting. And we know that we need to ne knock next door when we do this. Don't worry, all will become clear shortly. This is the first calculation that we're going to do together. So grab yourself a piece of paper and a pencil and follow along with me. Okay, everyone. Our first calculation we're going to do today together is 32 take away 14. So we set it out that we would normally, the same as yesterday. 32... Take away 14, and here we've got our space for our answer at the bottom. I make sure I've got my ones column and my tens column labelled. And the first thing we need to do is we need to work out our ones column. Two, take away four. But we've got a little bit of a problem. We're going to need to exchange because we cannot take away two from four whilst we are doing the column method for subtraction. So what are we going to do? We're going to have to knock next door to 30 and ask if we can exchange one of its tens. So, as that's knocking next door, we have exchanged a 10 from 30, making it 20. And I've exchanged and put the 10 here. So now it's not two take away four, it's 12 take away four, which we can do. And 12 take away four is Eight. Now, instead of having 30 take away 10, because we've exchanged, we've now got 20 take away 10. And 20 take away 10 is 10. And I'll make sure I've got it lined up properly so my digits are in the right column. And now the same as yesterday, even though it's a subtraction, we still need to add our total of our ones column and our tens column together. So eight and zero is eight. And this is our 10 here because it's in the tens column. So we know that 32 take away 14 is 18. Well done everyone, easy peasy. Grab yourself a piece of paper and a pencil. Here is one for you to have a practice at at home. And the answer to 38 take away 19 is 19. Remember that you would have needed to have knocked next door, exchanging a 10 from 30 and turning eight into 18. We're going to have a go at this one together now. So grab yourself another piece of paper and a pencil and follow along with me. Okay guys, our next calculation we're gonna to do together is 44 take away 15. So let's lay it out nice and neatly. 44 take away 15. Leave some space for my working out and a space for my answer. And I'm going to label my ones column and my tens column like so. So the first thing we need to do is work out the answer to our ones column. So here we have four take away five. And I know we've come across that problem again where we're going to need to exchange because we cannot take away four from five when we're doing our column subtraction. So let us knock next door and say to our 40, excuse me, can I exchange one of your tens? So our 40 then becomes 30 and our 10 goes 
here. So we have 14 take away 5. And 14 take away 5 is 9. Fantastic job. Now we have to work out our tens column and it's not 40 take away 10 anymore. It's 30 take away 10 because our other 10 is over here. So 30 take away 10 is 20. And same as our last example, even though it's a subtraction, we still have to add the total of our ones column and our tens column together. So nine and nothing is nine, nine and zero is nine. And this is our 20 here in our tens column. Our answer to 44 take away 15 is 29. Fantastic. Well done, you. Here's another one for you to work on independently. Pause the video now and don't forget to exchange by knocking next door. And here is your answer. 64 take away 26 is 38. Well done for remembering to exchange. You're doing a fantastic job. Here are your questions for you to work on independently. Give yourself a good 10 minutes and choose whether to work through mild, hot, spicy or a mixture of the three. Pause the video now and set your timer for 10 minutes. Good luck and don't forget to exchange. Here are your answers to mild, hot and spicy today. Pause the video now so you can have enough time to mark them. And here is our plenary question for today. Miss Straub has 45 pencils. She gives 36 to Miss Easthope. How many does she have left? Remember, you're going to need to exchange. But you're really good at it by now, so I'm sure you'll have no problem at all. Please feel free to tweet me the answer. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.